Um, as we wrap up this week and we think about uh, disengaging from incessant um, use of the cell phone, turning it off for an hour in order to break our dependency on it, increase our dependency on God. Um, I just want to remind you of our embrace goal. We talked about a resist goal yesterday and an embrace goal. The embrace goal is to simply commit to the kind of practices that will empower us to be more present face-to-face -face with ourselves, God, and others. Um, in the New Testament, there are 52 what's called one another passages. Love one another, encourage one another, be patient with one another, honor one another above yourselves. 52 of these one another passages. And what it reflects is being present with others. Um, recognizing that we have a, a self-obsession that pulls us out from under the influence of Jesus, under the influence of self-deception and selfishness and self-justification and self-criticism and comparison of ourselves to others, which normally puts us in a place where we um, are not attentive to relationships. And the cell phone can be a, a massive nemesis to our spiritual objective of loving God and loving others. So as you learn to resist this incessant intruder that you've invited into your life that repeatedly hijacks your ability to be present, your cell phone, as you learn to resist that, simply starting by shutting it off for one hour a day, uh, you learn to resist that, you can uh, develop an embrace of others. One of the times during the day that I shut off my cell phone, and I'm, I'm up to about three hours a day of shutting it off, is I shut it off in the morning uh, so I can be more present with myself and God. And I shut it off usually if I'm gone to work and I come home first thing when I get home. Because I find that it's that time with my, with my beautiful wife, uh, my sweet wife Debbie, uh, that, I, that I can be distracted. If my phone is not turned off and out of sight, I can be distracted from the connection that I want to have with her. By the end of my day, my energy is tapering. And so when I get home, I want to maximize that first hour with her. So I make it a practice to shut it off then because I want to do all those one another's with her. I want to do those one another's with you. I want to do those one another's with a growing group of people that know that if you're in the family of God, it's a place where we're wanting to cultivate. We're wanting to embrace our ability to honor one another, to be patient with one another, to be kind with one another, to forgive one another. Because when we do, we bring the love of God to the most practical place in the world, how we interface with others. Lord Jesus, um, let us leverage um, a simple practice to break our attachment to our phones and increase our attachment to our walk with you and our healthy relationship with others. We love you, Lord. We commit to this practice so we can be made more like you in a world that's desperate to know you. In Jesus' name, I'll see you this weekend.